Hello for today. Our next topic is all about data summarization. And data summarization is a part of descriptive analytics. Data summarization includes mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and variance. Mean is commonly called the average. And we have to add up all the values for each case and divide by the total number of cases. Median is the middle value when a variable's values are ranked in order, the point that divides a distribution into equal halves. Mode is the most common data point and it is possible to have more than one mode. However, range is the spread or the distance between the lowest and highest values of a variable. A quartile is the value that marks one of the divisions that brings a series of values into four equal parts. Standard deviation is the square root of the variance that reveals the average deviation of the observation from the mean. Okay, so let's try computing the mean median mode, range, interquartile, range, variance, and standard deviation using Microsoft Excel using the home sales and selling price data. Okay, yung mean natin, we can compute the mean by uh, just clicking or typing average, equal average, and then the cell ranges. For the median, median, so meron tayong function na median, then the cell range. Yung mode natin, mode.mode, and mode that single kapag yung mode that single function it will only return single single most often occurring value and then multimodal usually kasi dalawa or more than more than two yung yung model natin so kailangan mode that mode yung gamitin natin so we have mode that mode so hindi siya kasi naka-arrange sa ascending order so dapat naka-arrange siya dapat so, ayan, sort natin. And then, so, type ulit natin. Okay. So, mode that mode. Come on. Okay, mode that mode. Then, open parenthesis. We have D, um, ayan. So, ayan. And then, close parenthesis. Charan. So, radyan na yung, ano natin yung mean, median, and bold natin. Okay, so let's compute for the range. The range is equal to the highest value minus the minimum value. So, we use max and min function. So, in order for us to do it, max, uh, open parenthesis, the data set minus min, the data set enter another class is the interquartile interquartile range so yung interquartile range we have 25th 50th and 75th percentile so yun yung i-compute natin so it is equal to the function that we'll be using is um is equal to percent that exc and then we have open parenthesis and then the data set and then the k the k is since 20 we are computing for the 25th percentile it is 0. 0.25 and then comma come on comma then enter okay so that is for the 25th percentile so, i-drag na lang natin siya and then palit palitan na lang natin yung values sa gilid which are the 50th, 75th, and the 25th percentile. Okay, our next computation is variance. Since our variance, okay, ano since, since, so, yung variance natin can be co computed by var dot s and then open parenthesis d data set and then close parenthesis we have to enter our formula and then the standard deviation the last one we have 
the standard dev.s since it's, it is it is sample and then open parenthesis the data set and then enter okay so hope you learned for today goodbye for now thank you for listening bye bye, bye.